first tonight at 11. For the first time since 2005, we are getting an exclusive look inside the Clayton County Jail. Tomorrow, county commissioners are expected to vote on new funding for the jail. 11 Alive's Don White took a one on one tour with Sheriff LaVon Allen ahead of that vote tomorrow. And she's joining us now here in studio. So, Don, the sheriff is asking for about $14 million a year. What does he want to do with that money? Well, that is correct, and we took a three-hour tour of the jail. LaVon Allen, he focused on safety, overcrowding, and also deteriorating jail conditions. Um, my eight-year-old son comes to this jail. My mom walks to this jail. The Clayton County Jail opened its doors in 2000, and it's been deteriorating since then. In 23 years, I think uh, we might have gotten a roof on the jail since then. The inmates were able to manipulate this from the handicap rail uh, and the showers. Clayton County Sheriff LaVon Allen wants to clean up issues to keep inmates and correctional officers safe. All of our stabbings that have occurred have, have occurred based on something that they have broken away from the actual uh, facility. Allen says an inmate made this large, sharp shank from items already inside. When you remove this and work this on the wall and you remove this, this becomes a long sword, a long machete. But the contraband isn't just from inside the jail. Like Mission Impossible, cut the glass, poke the hole through and have a hole. Well, once that was happening, they were able to convince people to break into jail and not out. So once they got their friends to convince them to break into jail, that is how they were getting contraband into the jail. The locks on doors and cells are also showing age. Really, when you pull the door, that's how it's supposed to be. But because of the um, how old it is, that's just what you get. Sheriff Allen says another problem in the jail is overcrowding. We can house comfortably uh, two inmates to a bed, about 1,500, 1,540 inmates. Um, our daily uh, capacity is around about 19, 18 and 1900 inmates. Allen wants to reduce overcrowding and cramped conditions before the situation gets worse. We want to go and fix the problem before it gets that bad. We don't, we, you know, we don't want to get to where we're in the news every day or, or stuff like that. The sheriff says the third major issue is the crumbling infrastructure. These four washers are uh, responsible for washing the clothing of the 2000 inmates that we can have here. Right now, uh, there's only two washers uh, working. And not all of the dryers are working either, causing some uniforms to be thrown away. We throw it away because if we can't get this to the proper temperature to kill the bugs, we don't want to put it back in to, to infest uh, the, other, the, the other inmates or the other laundry. Toilets and drinking fountains are on the same unit, which Sheriff Allen yeah, says need to be replaced. Well, right now we're trying to get everything where it's working. That's number one. You can see there's three people to this cell, and they need to be able to uh, have access to uh, clean, fresh drinking water. So they need to look at redoing the entire plumbing system. The sheriff believes improving safety, overcrowding, and jail conditions can keep inmates unharmed during their stay. Everybody that comes to my jail should be treated treated with respect and with dignity. If my brother or sister got arrested here today, I don't want them to get shanked or get killed or, or get eaten alive by some, by some type of uh, insect. That's not the goal here. And Ron and Jennifer, Sheriff Allen wanted to emphasize this is a pretrial facility. So only about 350 of the 1,900 inmates have actually been convicted so far. And it's great that he gave you access, too. Mm -hmm. Finally, we uh, we got into the jail after almost two decades. Sheriff Allen will be um, asking for some money, so he wanted to go and show the conditions. And also tomorrow I'll be talking about how he wants to improve them.